celebrities playing themselves can be a real treat, especially in prominent roles. See some of the best performances by athletes, musicians, or actors who played themselves in movies, TV guest spots, and even as leads in stories. Neil Patrick Harris's breakout role as a highly dramatized version of himself in 2004's Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle led to two sequels where he played increasingly absurd versions of himself, including getting kicked out of heaven by Jesus in a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. In Jim Yarmusha's 2003 anthology, Coffee and Cigarettes, Kate Blanchett shines in a segment called Cousins. Blanchett plays both herself and a brunette relative named Shelley, who have trouble connecting while catching up in a hotel lobby. The short film is a testament to Blanchett's chameleonic talent and is a must-see for fans of the actress. James Van Der Beek returned to TV in 2012 on Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23. He played a version of himself, poking fun at his post-Dawson's Creek career and predicting a future Dancing with the Stars stint. The show was short-lived but highly acclaimed. Bill Murray's appearance in the 2009 film Zombieland is considered to be one of his greatest cameos. Despite having only a few minutes of screen time, his portrayal of himself in a post-apocalyptic world is hilariously iconic and could even be considered a starring role. Heather Langenkamp, known for playing Nancy Kerrigan in Nightmare on Elm Street, returned to the franchise in 1994's New Nightmare, in which she played herself being taunted by a demon who looks like Freddy Krueger. The meta-thriller also stars horror legend Robert Englund and Wes Craven as themselves. In 1964, the Beatles made their cinematic debut in the film A Hard Day's Night. This marked the beginning of a trend where famous musicians offered a fictionalized look into their offstage lives. The film showcases the band's comedic timing and athleticism as they outrun screaming fans. It was the first of many dramatized films made by the Fab Four. Basketball superstar LeBron James has received acclaim for his acting roles in movies such as Trainwreck and most recently in Space Jam, A New Legacy. His portrayal of himself in Trainwreck as best friends with Bill Hader's sports doctor to the stars was particularly well received. The late great Stan Lee is remembered for his countless Marvel movie cameos. One of his first acting gigs was in Kevin Smith's film Mallrats, where he appeared as himself and gave relationship advice to the comic book obsessed Brody. Lee's performance was memorable and showed off his acting abilities. Larry David, co-creator of Seinfeld, inspired the character George Costanza. In his show Curb Your Enthusiasm, David plays a version of himself who is even more challenging to be around, earning him Emmy nominations. In the show Extras, Kate Winslet plays a nun on the set of a Holocaust film. She admits to taking the role purely to win an Oscar. She later offers some hilarious relationship advice, making a strong case for being the funniest guest appearance on the show. John Malkovich stars as both himself and the title character in the 1999 film, Being John Malkovich. In the film, a puppeteer played by John Cusack discovers a magical portal that allows him to enter Malkovich's mind for 15 minutes at a time. The film, directed by Spike Jonze and written by Charlie Kaufman, is a wildly creative comedy that offers a rare glimpse into the mind of an actor. Actor Bruce Campbell directs and stars in the 2007 horror comedy, My Name is Bruce, where he plays a boozy, washed-up version of himself who is forced to channel his iconic, evil, dead, character to defeat a demon wreaking havoc on a small town in Oregon. A rare example of an actor playing themselves in the titular role. Oprah Winfrey had a memorable appearance on season 3 of 30 Rock alongside Tina Fey. Liz Lemon finds herself sitting next to the media mogul on an airplane and seeks her wisdom, resulting in many humorous moments. In the 2019 thriller movie, Uncut Gems, former NBA player Kevin Garnett received no awards attention despite his electrifying performance as himself. Although the Safdie brothers didn't get the athlete they originally wrote the part for, Garnett's portrayal of himself in 2012 sets off a series of increasingly dire circumstances for lead character Howard Ratner, played by Adam Sandler. In the 2013 film, This is the End, the cast, including Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, 
Craig Robinson and more, play exaggerated versions of themselves, enduring the apocalypse with hilarious gags at their expense. Highlights include Jonah Hill possessed by a demon, Michael Sarah's lewd behavior, Emma Watson with an axe, and Channing Tatum as a cannibalistic slave. It's entertaining to see famous people take on fictional versions of themselves on screen. Keanu Reeves' brief appearance in the rom-com Always Be My Maybe as a surreal version of himself has earned praise from critics. His partially improvised portrayal sees him wearing glasses with no lenses and requesting a dish that plays with the concept of time during a restaurant double date. 